Hi, I'm Sarah Schutt with the Wisconsin Alumni Association, and this is One on One at One Alumni Place. My guest today is John Hawks, Professor of Anthropology at UW-Madison. Welcome, John. Thanks. So, John, you were a member of a team that made a significant archaeological discovery in South Africa a few years ago. Tell us a little bit about what you found. Sure. Um, it was just around this time of year. It was five years ago in 2013. We were working with a team in South Africa. Uh, the team is led by Lee Berger, who's a National Geographic Explorer, and he's a prof at the University of Witwatersrand in South Africa. And the team in the field, uh, a couple of cavers named Steve Tucker and Rick Hunter, squeezed through an area of a cave system called the Rising Star Cave System. And at the end of this squeeze, they discovered a chamber that was full of bones. The bones we would discover as we assembled on site, uh, Lee organized a team to excavate the fossils, and we brought out of the cave more than 1,500 bone specimens that represent a previously unknown species, the species we named Homo naledi. Folks are probably familiar with Neanderthals and with the archaeological discovery of Lucy. Where does Homo naledi fit in the evolutionary timeline? Modern humans, our species, originated within the last three or four hundred thousand years mm -hmm. in Africa. And Homo naledi, we've, we've found after going through the process of dating the geology of the site where we work, we've found that those fossils are around 250,000 years old. Mm -hmm. So Homo naledi lived at around the same time as our immediate ancestors were becoming modern humans. It's a really exciting and important time in our evolutionary history. Really? What was it about UW-Madison and particularly your work that made us fortunate enough to become involved with this huge project? What really brought me in and brought me in as a Wisconsin faculty member was, was my commitment to reaching out, to bridging that gap between scientists and the public, to finding ways for our work in human evolution to influence the way that people think about themselves and think about the world. So really the Wisconsin idea is very central to my role in the work and has, has been just a wonderful way of, of framing what we do here at Wisconsin in science and research with the way that the top level of science in this area is going on at the, in the biggest project in the world. What compelling question are you pursuing right now? You know, for me right now, what, what's central is how did these species coexist? You know, could they have mixed with each other? Mixture is a big theme that we are discovering in, as we get genetics from ancient people. And we don't have genetics yet from Homo naledi. Uh, we've tried, and we've tried here, including at Wisconsin, we've tried to extract DNA, and it just, it hasn't worked yet. I think in the end it will work, but in the meantime, what we're trying to understand is how mixture contributes to our evolutionary process, right? What are we getting from these very different forms of hominins that existed in the past? Because the story that we're learning as we learn more about genomes is that the different parts of genomes sometimes come from mixture with other animals. Um, not between humans and, and elephants or something <laughs> like that, but the elephants, their evolution has involved mixture with mammoths and today's elephants and extinct forms, right? And humans, our evolution has involved mixture between modern humans and Neanderthals and other forms, right? So what we're finding is that genomes are reflecting almost like a braided stream hmm. process of lineages that exist for some time. Many of them become extinct, but before they become extinct, sometimes there is interaction, sometimes there's mixing. So it's, uh, it's, it's fascinating, but it makes my job very complicated to try to understand what the pattern of that mixing is and what we can understand from it. You and Lee are committed to sharing your results widely. How can our alumni follow your progress and learn even more about your research? You know, we've been really fortunate uh, from the beginning of this process that we've got great sponsorship from National Geographic, and National Geographic Films has done re a really nice film about our work, Dawn of Humanity, but also is, you know, continuing to cover the work as we go. 
We're reaching out on Facebook, on Twitter. You can follow our accounts and follow our research in progress. Our excavators all are tweeting from underground inside the cave. And when we're tweeting from the site and you're seeing photos of things that we're doing underground, it is really the first. You know, we're, we're showing you exactly what we're finding as we find it. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here today and sharing your work and your research with our alumni. All right, thank you very much. We hope that you join us again for one-on-one -on -one at One Alumni Place. Thanks for watching on Wisconsin.